The Bible begins with water. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, we see the earth formless and void, with the Spirit of God moving over the surface of the waters. Water here symbolizes chaos, but it also holds the promise of life. God's first act of creation is to bring order out of this chaotic water, separating it into the sky, land, and seas. This sets the stage for all life to flourish. Water plays a dual role in the story of Noah's Ark. The floodwaters serve as a form of judgment against sin, wiping out the corruption of humanity. Yet they also bring renewal, as the earth is cleansed and a new beginning is made through Noah and his family. This powerful use of water illustrates both God's righteousness and his mercy. In the Bible, water is also a symbol of life and sustenance. God provides water for the Israelites in the wilderness, emphasizing his role as their sustainer. From the refreshing still waters of Psalm 23, where God leads his people, to the miraculous provision of water from the rock, water symbolizes God's faithful provision for his people in times of need. The parting of the Red Sea is one of the most dramatic uses of water in the Bible. This event symbolizes God's power to deliver his people from bondage. The crossing of the Red Sea represents a passage from slavery to freedom, and it's remembered in Jewish tradition as a defining moment of redemption. In the wilderness, God provides water from a rock, highlighting his miraculous provision. The rock, which Paul later connects to Messiah in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 4, represents Yeshua as the source of living water. Just as the rock provided life-sustaining water to the Israelites, Yeshua provides spiritual sustenance to all who believe in him. The Promised Land is described as a place of abundant water, streams, pools, and springs flowing in the valleys and hills. This abundance of water is a sign of God's blessing and favor, representing the spiritual and physical prosperity that comes from being in covenant with God. In Jewish tradition, the mikveh, or ritual bath, is used for purification, symbolizing a return to a state of purity. This concept of water as a purifying force is carried forward in the New Testament with the practice of baptism. Baptism represents a cleansing from sin and a new beginning, reflecting the spiritual renewal that comes through faith in Yeshua. Baptism in the New Testament is deeply symbolic, as I mentioned, drawing from the Jewish tradition of mikvah. It represents the believer's identification with the death and resurrection of Yeshua, a washing away of the old life and the beginning of a new life in Messiah. Through baptism, believers publicly declare their faith and commitment to follow Yeshua. Yeshua walking on water is a powerful demonstration of his divine authority over nature. By walking on the chaotic waters of the Sea of Galilee, Yeshua shows his mastery over the elements, reinforcing his identity as the Son of God. This miracle reassures believers of Yeshua's power and presence even in the midst of life's storms. At the wedding in Cana, Yeshua performs his first public miracle by turning water into wine. This act symbolizes transformation and the fullness of life that comes through Messiah. The abundance and quality of the wine point to the joy of the kingdom of God, and this miracle reveals Yeshua's doxa, or glory, leading his disciples to believe in him. The Bible begins and ends with a river. In Genesis, the river flowing out of Eden symbolizes God's life-giving presence. In Revelation, the river of life flowing from the throne of God represents the ultimate source of eternal life and blessing. These rivers bookend the Bible's narrative, pointing to the abundance and eternal sustenance found in God. Water in the Bible is a powerful symbol of God's interaction with His creation. It represents life, purification, judgment, and renewal. Ultimately, water points us to Yeshua, the source of living water, who offers eternal life to all who come to him. As we reflect on the symbolism of water, let us draw near to God, trusting him to quench our spiritual thirst and lead us into the fullness of life he has promised. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos that deepen your understanding of God's word.